Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. And we begin with an Arizona college student taking the challenge she was born with to take a swing at history. Next week, Amy Bockerstedt will become the first athlete with Down syndrome to play for a national championship. Her sport is golf, and she'll hit the links with her Paradise Valley Community College teammates in Ormond Beach, Florida, starting Monday. Amy is no stranger to breaking barriers. In 2016, she became the first golfer with Down syndrome to qualify for the state of Arizona's high school tournament and two years later became the first person with the disorder to earn a college athletic scholarship. Amy also plays basketball, soccer, and baseball. My superpower is confidence and believing in myself, she says. With superpower, you can create your own purpose. If you're between 12 and 15, you'll soon find yourself in the vaccine spotlight. As early as this week, the Food and Drug Administration is expected to green light that age group for the Pfizer shots. According to the company, trials show they are safe and 100% effective for middle schoolers. Approval for kids 2 to 11 is expected in September. When it comes to adults, President Biden just set a new goal. He wants 70% of those 18 and up to start their shots by the 4th of July. As of today, about 56% of Americans are at least partially vaccinated. It's not a find you'd expect to make in a Florida lake, but two scuba divers stumbled on something that might have belonged to a distant cousin of Manny the Woolly Mammoth. It's a four-foot-long femur bone that dates back to the Ice Age at least 10,000 years ago, and it belonged to a Colombian mammoth, a giant elephant-like beast the National Park Service says was so tall a person would need to stand on the second floor of a building to touch its head. The amateur explorers were combing the Peace River near Arcadia when one of them spotted the 50-pound charcoal-colored behemoth of a bone underwater, stuck in the sand. They told the Orlando Sentinel that the area was probably once grassland and that their discovery is like time travel. It makes your imagination go wild. Moms and dads, if you're worried about your teens and their screens, A major new study says don't. According to CBS News, Oxford Institute researchers looked at 430,000 kids between the ages of 10 and 15 in the United States and United Kingdom and found little to no link between time spent on technology and mental health. The study was based on 28 years' worth of data and looked at TV viewing, social media, and device use. The paper is published in the journal Clinical Psychological Science. In other Kid News notes, the blockbuster legal showdown between two tech titans is underway. Fortnite's owner Epic is suing Apple for overcharging game developers, blocking competition, and booting it from its store. And Apple is suing Epic right back for breaking its contract. The trial is expected to last three weeks and, depending on the outcome, could lead to big changes in the multi-billion dollar world of mobile apps. The Marvel Universe is taking shape. In a three-minute video released Monday, Disney announced release dates for 10 upcoming movies, starting with Black Widow in July, Shang-Chi in September, The Eternals in November, and Spider-Man No Way Home in December. The world's largest White Castle restaurant is now open for business. It's in Orlando, Florida, and on Monday, fans flocked to get the first sliders off the grill, even waiting up to four hours in the drive through line. 60 sliders per order was the opening day limit, but going forward, the menu will offer a Crave palette, 6,920 sliders for $6,200. The restaurant's request for a craving that size please call ahead. Before we get to our quiz, we know a lot of our listeners are trying to show their teachers some love by emailing us shout-outs. We're going to try to post some of those comments on our website later this week. We'll keep you posted. Now, this morning's Kid News Quiz. How is college golfer Amy Bockerstedt making history? 
She'll be the first athlete with Down syndrome to play for a national championship. Which age group might get the vaccine go ahead as early as this week? Kids 12 to 15. What did two scuba divers find in a Florida lake? Part of a femur bone from an Ice Age Columbian mammoth. How many 10 to 15 year olds were surveyed for a new study on screen time? According to the Oxford Institute, 430,000. In One for the Road, actor Adam Sandler just weighed in on his pancake publicity. As we reported earlier this week, a mortified teenage hostess who didn't recognize the Sandman beneath his mask told him the wait for a table would be 30 minutes. He didn't make a fuss, and she didn't know who she sent away until another customer reported a Sandler sighting in the parking lot. Her TikTok post chronicling the embarrassment has been viewed 9 million times, and now most likely by him. On Twitter Monday, he proved he holds no grudge. For the record, he tweeted, I only left the IHOP because the nice woman told me the all-you-can-eat deal didn't apply to milkshakes. Before we go, we've got another extra special Teacher Appreciation Week shout-out. This one for Mrs. S. from her second graders at Gifted Magnet Braddock Elementary in Culver City, California. Her students and their parents asked Kid News to share this message. Thank you for all your hard work. It's been a challenge for all to pivot to online learning. You have supported us to become stronger and flexible digital citizens, and the class topics have been super interesting. Thanks for listening, everyone. Please remember to rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.